thinking, oh, geez, okay, well, I can do product configuration. I don't want to go that far. Um, but I want to do something where it will take them kind of down the Q&A and kind of maybe kick out a, a suggestion. Um, you know, and then the other one was a diagnostic. I want to diagnose something. I'm not necessarily going to drop a value in a creator record, but I want to be able to just, you know, I, I want to be able to just give them a, you know, a, 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 a butterfly, if you will. Um, you know, you go into the, into the auto parts store and you go up to the counter and you say, I need a part for this car. And he's got this big, huge book of, of, of uh, owner's manuals. And they call that a butterfly. I never knew that until we got, uh, we started doing a, uh, doing a project for a company, a uh, uh, healthcare company out west. And they called it the butterfly. I'm like, what the heck is a butterfly? And so they, they said, they, they, they told us what it was. Like, oh, okay, all right. So it's kind of like a diagnostics thing. You know, the big butterfly, you open it up, it helps you to, to identify what you need to do. And that kind of led me to say, you know, what is a flow? Um, in, in the aspect of not looking at it from necessarily automating record creation, but, but, but offering suggestions, offering guidances, offering um, support to the user in whatever journey they're doing. And that was kind of like, yeah, that, that makes sense. So when they're in there and they're creating a case, let's say, for example, and they need to, they need to identify what the, what, what the uh, symptoms are, they may not have the supporting information to identify the, sy the symptom. So what if they had something on the side, on the sidebar, that took them through a Q&A or took them through, you know, took, took them through a diagnostic to help them arrive at what that symptom should be, to help them create that case. So that's kind of the suggestiveness that, that I was looking at, just to kind of build, you know, hey, let's just put something like that into the user experience and see how it fleshes out. So when we look at flows, there was a couple um, categories. And the first one was in a guided recommendation. You guys have probably seen this. You go out to a website and they're using a configurator or they're using a guided selling product. You know, in this case, it's Cadet. Ooh, that went too fast. Um, you know, but they'll take you through a question and answer. You know, how big a bed? Do you want it heated? Is it baseboard heat? Is it some other type of heat? And they'll, and, you know, they'll ask for dimensions. And then at the end of the day, they'll, they'll come up with a recommendation of what you should select and present those to you. And I thought, well, God, that's, cr that's cool. Why not put that in, the, in, a, in a user experience? You know, why not put that in a lightning experience? And maybe we can use flow to kind of drive that. Whoops. So that was kind of the preface, or that was, the, that was the, the idea that I wanted to kind of convey, is how, what would be, what, what could we use in the, in the aspect of flows to be able to kind of give that, to enrich that user experience so they have something like that in, their, in the UI. And then the other one, the other one that I was looking at is, is diagnostics and troubleshooting. You know, you're on the phone, and we know we can do that with, um, with knowledge, we, can, we know we can do that, but can we simplify it perhaps through a flow and make it a little bit more, a little bit more intuitive or maybe even a little bit more simple um, and driving it through, you know, through the, uh, 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 you know, through the user experience so that they can go through more, maybe perhaps a little more quicker, um, you know, to, to get that diagnosis, to get that, to get that, that output that they're looking for. And again, you know, how can I bake it into, how can I bake it into that lightning experience? So that was kind of what we were looking for. So let me, uh, let me look at, so earlier today, they talked a little bit about the myths of lightning. And um, I talked a little bit about, you know, Lightning or flow is, is, you know, something for developers and, you know, they obviously debunked that myth. And she showed that, you know, now you can stick them in a lightning, in a, in a, in a page, in a lightning uh, uh, in user experience um, through this new component. And I said, okay, great, I want to do that. But I recognized, and, and, you know, you go into, you know, go to Salesforce and there's some limitations, you know. And then you need to look at that. So, you know, if you're using collection variables, 
obviously you may have to redo that flow. You may have to look at how you, how you, uh, um, uh, you know, modify that. Um, but some of the neat things, like it pushes in the, the record ID, you know, when you, when you instantiate it. Um, I thought that was, you know, that was something that's going to make it easier. But the one thing that I liked was I can add multiple, I can put multiple flows in a single UI. I thought, oh, how would I do that? So that's kind of what I wanted to, that, that was what I was playing around with. So when I open up, you know, when I open up uh, Salesforce and I went to the case, I was just, I was playing around with this. I went to the case. I think it's out of the box, you know, I see the detail. And I thought, well, let's, let's work with this area over here. So if I go into setup, and I go down to user experience here, and let's go up to the app builder. Okay, so I created this page out here just to kind of uh, switch out the standard case detail page and flip in my own. Um, and if I go edit it. So right now when, when I, you know, when you open it up, you see the detail on the left. And I didn't stick anything in here. So that's what I want to do is I want to put that in. Oops, where'd it go? There it is. So if I drag, as a matter of fact, what I want to do first is I want to put a tab up there. And then on the first tab... I'm going to call this oops, custom. I'm going to call that, um, uh, what was that? This was guided. Let's just call this guided. Okay. And on the second one, I'm going to call this uh, diagnostics. Diagnostics. So I got a tab there. So on the first tab, I want to drag up a flow. And I've got a couple flows. I'm going to use the first flow on this guy. Pass in the ID if I want it. And on the second flow, or on the second tab, I'm going to grab another one. Let's stick it over there. This one I'm going to use the diagnostic. And save that. So I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. I've got, like, my butterfly over here off to the right and help my user with whatever I want to do. So I'll stick that in there. And then when I go back... Oh, actually, I'll just probably redo this one. <clears throat> and what are we on? Oh, we're on the wizard. Let's go home. It didn't kick that one off. I didn't want to do that. I'll go to cases here. So we'll go out to cases. And I just I just swapped out the case uh, the case default page. I didn't make it any simple or, or uh, anything difficult. Oops. Oh, I think I started that one. Let me go back. Do do do. It's it's pushing it straight into the first flow. I didn't want to do that. And I think I know why. Go to map Let's take that guy, edit that. Oops. There, take. Can't pass that. There we go. All right. Should take care of it. Okay. Now. Get all these pages out of here. I think if I run it now and go to the case. Ah! Well, sorry guys, I don't know why that's doing that. But here we go. Oh, I put it at the top, sorry. I put it at the top. Um, so at any rate, so now I've got now I've got this I've got this case page with two tabs, and I've got one flow running in one tab, and I've got a different flow running in the in another tab. And I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool, you know, because then you could, you know, you could have different flows doing different things and just, you know, just in, enriching that user experience. And, the, you know, when you look at, <clears throat> when you look at the flow, when it gets put in there, it, it, it's got a better, 
look to it. The UI is a little more cleaner. It looks, you know, it complies with the standards for lightning. You know, it looks good. So then I said, let me go back to this guy. And this just goes through what, what we did, you know, in terms of dropping it in a tab. So then I said, well, what if you put it in a community? Because we work with communities a lot. You know, it's like I got partner communities, I got employee communities, I've got customer communities. Can I drop it in a community template? And what I found out, correct me if I'm wrong if anybody knows, but at this point you can't do that. Um, you, can still, you can still embed it in a visual flow, or excuse me, in a, in a VF page and drop that in. Yeah, okay, well, let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, oops. Now I gotta remember what my, uh, <laughs> what was my, I'll oh, just go to this guy here. Now, when in doubt, go to classic, right? Where's my community at? Oh, there you are. Oh, product support, that's right. <clears throat> and I don't think it's in here, so let me go ahead and add it. And we're working with the case tab, the case detail. Yeah, it is there. So I, I dropped it in because when you look at the components, you don't, it's not there. It's not on there. So I dropped that in, but if I redo that, let's just redo that. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'll kill him. Delete that. Okay. And then just for grins and giggles, we'll stick it to the top. It's easier that way. So right now, the only way I can add it is with the VF page. If I just drop that there, okay. And I've already added it right there, you can see. So I've got to add it. But then you get that funky old looking page. Of, you know, and it's not, it's not sized correctly, but it, it renders, it doesn't quite render very well. You can do it, but you can tell you get that old, you know, you get that old screen look from a from a flow. So if anybody knows a workaround for that, I'm all ears. But um, you know, that was that was kind of what we saw in you know in in putting it in in a community. Is we're kind of stuck with that right now. So hopefully that's something that they can get, you know, that they can fix. And <clears throat> you know, if you've embedded it, you know, I went through just basic embedded in an interview and and slap it up on the page. Um, um, but again, right now I couldn't find a way around the, the the screen. So, you know, if you guys find something, I'd love to love to hear. But right now, I think that's kind of what we're looking at, and that's just a just another view of it. So, you know, is it is it optimal? No. Is it functional? Yeah. Is it usable? Yeah. You know, I could put it in tabs and do the same thing. It just doesn't have that look and feel that, that I like. So just, you know, that's kind of some things that we found out when we were started playing with it. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe that's a, that's a question to pose to our Salesforce uh, folks is, is, you know, when that component will be available in a community. Because when, when it does, it's, I think it's going to be something you guys are, that we're going we're gonna to recommend it to our clients. You know, when they're, when they're looking at how can I augment that user experience in a community setting, yeah, let's take advantage of flows. They're easy to work with. They're really not that difficult. So, yes. Of the what? Yeah. Uh, can you use the two columns with the flow? Like drop the flow into one column.
Oh, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't play with that. Yes, it does it? Awesome. Good. For the for the beta component. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I, honestly, I, I didn't play with it to that level, you know, putting in cascading style sheets. So yeah. it might be a question to the general group here is, can you leverage that? That's a good question. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, wait, tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, in the in the you know the whole premise of of you know when they released you know when the when the Spring Seventeen release uh, documentation came out, and I was looking at that, I thought you know because we had clients that we had clients that you know we have clients that use Flow, and it's always been the UI that's always been prob you know the issue, and I'm like, wow, this could be cool, you know. And I like, you know, like in the previous presentation, being able to, to enrich the lightning experience, yeah, this is, this is good stuff, you know. And, and I think, I, I'm 100% I'm confident that the community side of it, the template, will, will be a fast follower. I'm sure within, you know, within a, a short time, you're gonna be able to do that same thing. And, you know, because most of, at least from our customer, or for the people that, the companies that we work with, most of the users are community users. You know, they may have a couple hundred, maybe maybe a thousand seats internal, but they've got, you know, we're working with with Macy's. They got 185,000 seats, community license seats. So every, you know, so there's a lot of community users, and and having, you know, enriching that experience is just as valuable. So I'm I, I'm hoping that you know that here in short time they'll they'll have that. Um, just any clo you know closing comments I that were you know this is just my my. Uh, Editorial on on flows, um, you know, modulize your flows, you know, so they don't get wrapped around. You don't get wrapped around the wheel, um, and it makes it easy to debug the logic too. You know, um, you know, I've seen I've seen God forsaken flows that are just you know so hard to debug, you know, and and I think the intent, you know, as as we discussed earlier in the, in the previous presentation is, you know, these are things that that administrators can add and just become rock stars and you know it, it you don't want to have to spend a day trying to debug a flow because it's written you know like a like a hornet's nest um, be careful in design to govern limits we all know that um, test it um, if there's any faults it, it, uh, uh, without or I'm sorry um, use fault messages you know, so that you're trapping on any ex un unhandled exceptions. You know, let your, cust let your users know if something occurred. Don't just, you know, don't leave them and, and let that exception just go. Um, maintain a good uh, naming con convention. We all use camel case. I think that's pretty standard in programming. Um, same thing goes for, for flows. Um, for the internal users, as I was, as I was using, consider a, a tab component that contains a different flow. Um, you know, so that you can kind of, and make it, you know, somewhat make it, you know, obvious, 
you know. Um, even even the uh, you could even put it in order of the you know the road the uh, the experience you know so perhaps they're they're using the first tab to do something the second tab to do something after that the third tab to do something after that just kind of you know just things that I found to make it a little easier and, and not so you know, not so perhaps confusing to the user I know that was fast I I apologize um, are there any any questions any thoughts comments. Well, I appreciate you guys giving me the time to, to chat, and I think it's cool. I mean, I think it's a neat little thing that, uh, you know, it's got, some, it's got some good value. So, at any rate, appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys.